Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can center HTML elements horizontal and vertically on your page. Alright, so in the beginning when I was starting out, this was something that was bugging me out all the time. I didn't know how could I uh, just like <laughs> center elements like horizontally or vertically on the page. I was trying these and that and it was uh, kind of hard. But nowadays with Flexbox, this is really, really easy. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do this tutorial now and just uh, follow me. Right, for that, um, I'm going to use uh, my code editor in here. It's the Visual Studio Code. It's free for Mac and Windows. So if this is like your first tutorial, just download it and um, yeah, install it and start using it. First thing you need to do, start a new file. I already have one in here and then you can save it as, and you should save it as an index.html. This is like the regular page. Uh, right, so to start out with our template, I just press HTML and then I can just click in here and I have a simple template. So I don't have to be writing down this all the time, okay? Uh, right, okay. Let me just save this. Look, in here it's like a dot. It means that I have not saved this yet. Uh, okay, where do I want? Is this one, okay? Is in here. I want to save as well. Oops, no, I want to go and save a new file called uh, style.css, okay? And in here I'm gonna referencing it and I'm going to put link CSS and style.css. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, let's say, let's say, let's say that I'm going to create in here a div with a class of container. Okay. And, um, yeah, okay, so in here, I'm just going to check if this is working or not. First of all, I'm just going to target everything in here with a star. This is something that I do all the time. Margin, put everything with margin zero and padding zero. Uh, and the box sizing border box, okay? So this is just like for me to have the exact amount that I want on each one of my elements. All right, so in here, I'm just gonna say that my div with a class container, just to make sure that this is working, container, uh, I want it to have a height of um, 500 pixels and a background color of blue, just to make sure that our CSS file is working, all right? So I'm gonna double click in here in my index.html that we created. And if I see in here in the browser, it's working. It's 500 pixels, height, and background color blue. All right, so now let's learn. Actually, I'm going to put this uh, light blue. Let me see how does it look like. Yeah, that looks better. Let's say um, I'm going to put in here three divs. So three divs. And... I'm gonna put in here with a class of box, okay? Box, and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna copy this over, all right? So I got three divs, and um, yeah, let me just get rid of this height, and I'm gonna put in here, let, let's just see how does it look like now, okay? Now it's completely empty, all right? because I removed the height from the container and also because all of these divs, they are empty, all right? So that's why we can't see anything. This div with the class container, it doesn't have any height by default. It's completely empty. And also all of these divs, they are empty. That's why we can't see anything. All right, so I want these divs with a class box that I'm gonna create in here, box, I'm gonna give them a height, a height of uh, let's say uh, 100 pixels, okay? And I want them to have a width of 30% of the parent, okay? 
So the parent is container. Okay, let's refresh. Uh, ah, right, okay, let me put in here a background color of blue for all of our boxes. Let me refresh the page again. And here they are, okay? So just, just listen carefully. Uh, let me see if this is fine. Okay, um, so with 30% height, okay, that, that should be good, that should be good, um, let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, so <clears throat> by default, by default, when you create a div, a div will take 100% of the width of the parent element. So for example, when I go in here, I created this div with a class container. The parent of this div is body. So the body is gonna be all our page of the, um, of the screen that you have on the screen, okay? That's why we can see in here that our, our div with a class container with a background colored light blue is taking all of these. And inside all of these divs that we create, by default, whenever you create any HTML element, they start on the top left. They start here on the left, okay? That's why they are all stacking up in here. Um, okay, so now I want them to be like spaced equally on the page and centered, okay? So one thing that if you guys don't remember all the time these things by your in, in your head like sometimes it happens with me you can just go to google and you you can put flex box for example uh, if i go in here to this one so a complete guide to flex box in here look if i'm gonna use uh, for example this part in here that says justify content center okay so for it to work I need to go in here on the parent. So this is the divs that I want to center on the page. And this is the parent. So on the parent, this div with a class container, I have to go in here on the CSS and put display flex, okay? And then if I want them to be like, like this center on the page, I need to put justify content center all right so if i go in here i'm going to put justify uh, content center all right let's refresh and i'm going back in here and okay so um, so we got this one in here uh maybe we have to put as well flex wrap wrap Let's see, I'm just gonna explain this in a second. Okay, this is not working still. Uh, let's see, what do I have wrong in here? Okay, so I have the box, there is a width, okay. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So we got a width, so we got the, let me see if I put display of inline block, okay? Let me see this. No, it's not this. Um, what can be wrong in here? So we've got this one with a width, flex wrap, wrap, uh, justify content center. Um, hmm. Not sure what's what's wrong in here. So we've got this div container, background color, display flex, justify content center, flex wrap, wrap. Um, uh, this is fine. Let me just put some padding in here, okay? Padding, uh, 10 pixels on the top and bottom and 20 pixels left and right, okay? Let me go in here and we got this one in here. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand what's wrong in here now. Because I'm putting I'm putting all of these divs like it shows in here. Justify content center, okay? 
they are all getting centered, squished down on the page. That's why you you can't see you can't sorry you can't see like any um, margins between them. Okay, let me just put a little bit more of the padding on the container. Let me put, for example, 50 pixels. Uh, no, sorry, this one is the same. Oops, I'm gonna put on the top and bottom a little bit more, maybe 50 pixels. Okay, so look, this is my div with a class container, the one that is light blue, and I'm saying that there is a padding on the top of 50 pixels and on the bottom 50 pixels. This is what I'm doing in here, okay? So this is just make sure that the div is in here on the center. All right, so now I want them to be a little bit spaced out. Let's say that I want these divs to be uh, instead of 30% of the parent, I want them to be 20%. Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit less. Now on each one of these divs, I'm gonna put in here a margin on the right, margin on the right of uh, let's say uh, 20 pixels and a margin on the left of 20 pixels as well. All right, let's refresh and here it is now. Okay, <laughs> now, we can, now we can understand this a little bit better because look, like I said in the beginning, this is my div with a class container. This is the parent and I'm putting in here that I want them to display flex and this this is just like to make sure that we, we can use Flexbox, all right? And then I'm putting inside justify content center. So basically it's gonna grab whatever you have inside and it's gonna squish them down to the center. It's gonna center them. And then they were all together and you couldn't see the difference between each of the elements, okay? And now if I want a little bit of space between them, I can just go to each of the elements like I did in here and I'm gonna give them a margin right 20 pixels and a margin left 20 pixels. If you press F12 on your keyboard or right click inspect elements, you can have in here the developer tools. I'm using the Google Chrome browser. So if you are using Firefox or uh, something else, I think Safari as well, they all have these kind of developer tools. You can check these as well. Look, if I'm gonna select this div, look in here, these kind of things highlighted on the side. This is the margin that we just created, okay? So in here we have a margin on the left of 20 pixels, margin on the right of 20 pixels, and in here the same, look, and in here the same. That's why we have this space in here in between, look. Okay, and our parent, look, all of these gray areas in here, this means that our content can't reach there, okay? Because it's like the padding of the container. And now let's say, so for example, now we just see that we can center the element on the page. Now, if I want, for example, to center the elements vertically, let's say that in here, all of these divs, I put them with a height of um, 100 pixels, okay? But now let's say that um, I want to put on this div of the middle, I'm gonna put a class of short. And in here, I'm gonna put class short, and I'm gonna put a height of 50 pixels. Okay, so in here, now that we have a height of short of 50 pixels, it means that this will override what was before on the box in here. So this one is gonna have an updated height of 50 pixels. If I refresh the page, look, now this one has a 50 pixels height, but it's not, it's not centered vertically on the page. I want this to be centered vertically. All right, so for that, I'm going again to my style.css and I'm going to the parent container and I'm going to, we already have display flex to use Flexbox, so this is fine. Now I'm gonna put something in here like uh, align items center, okay? 
So if I go and refresh the page now, look, now it's nicely and centered. If I'm gonna put anything else, let's say I'm gonna put in here another class called even shorter, <laughs> something like this. Oh, let me save this. Which one was it? Is it the last one? Yeah, it's the last one. So if I'm going in here and I'm gonna put this class even shorter, and I'm gonna give it a height, oops, let me push this a bit up, a height of 30 pixels. If I refresh the page, look, 30 pixels is even smaller, but is also centered vertically, all right? So that's it, That's it's easy as this. If you want to center things horizontally or vertically, you can use Flexbox, and you just have to use these commands like I put in here, just put on the parent container. You have to wrap whatever you want to center on the page with a container, with a parent. You can give it whatever class name you want. I just put container because this is a container, but you can give it whatever class name you want. So put them between a div with some class and then the elements inside, you can center them horizontally and vertically. Go to the parent, put display flex, Justify content center to push everything to the center, make sure that everything is centered in, in the middle. And then if you want to center vertically, you just have to put align items center. Like I said, I put each one of my div with the class boxes with 20% width. So they will be 20% of the parent. So look, in here, the parent is taking like 100% of the page and each one of these is 20% of the total page, okay? Because look, with the developer tools open, I can just like squeeze this and look how they dynamically change their proportions. That's why sometimes it's much better to put on your divs percentages instead of actually putting, for example, 50 pixels, 30 pixels for the width because um, different screens, they will have different resolutions and like this, your, um, your content will be dynamic all the time. All right, guys, so this, this is this uh, tutorial it was quite simple, quite easy and straightforward. And yeah, just to help you out with this, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you like it and I'll catch you up in the next video.